Hey guys, it's John from ARTV. It's time for a review that you guys kept asking for. I wasn't planning to review this because I normally tend to stay away from metalcore albums, and even though this one is more in the terms of, I guess, metalcore and post-hardcore, but you guys ask for it and then you generally don't like what I have to say. The Color Morale, their fourth studio album in five years, which seems a little bit much to me, but Anyways, they're on Fearless Records now, and this new album is called Hold On, Pain Ends. You can probably guess from the title of that record what a lot of the record deals with, and the problem that I have with so much metalcore music is the fact that they just play off of the same themes over and over again. The fact is, and why I don't enjoy metalcore music, is because they are always either two things. Mad or sad. Things just aren't right, and we just are here to write them, and we're the voice of the people, or else we're pissed off and we're taking over. Mm, drives me nuts. Anyways, I came into this as open-minded as possible, and there actually are some decent moments here on this thing, although the moments that are far more mediocre and just total garbage outweigh those positive notes by a long shot. This record is full of a lot of lyrical cliches, although there is one song like Suicide Stigma that I thought was really well done just because of the fact that suicide, as we've seen recently, is a huge thing and can definitely affect so many people and it's just something that I feel like today's generation probably can't hear enough times, especially if you're going through a dark time in your life, so that is one song that I will praise, and the instrumentation on that one felt really effective. Its vocal performance on it was kind of supercharged, very angry and pissed off, along with the guitar riffs that actually felt pretty inventive, at least for a color morale track. Also expect to hear plenty of riffs that feel like they're recycled here on this thing. There's also some vocal moments that feel like lead singer Garrett Rapp is trying to channel his inner Johnny Craig, especially on slow tracks. I think I hear it the most in tracks like The Ones Forgotten by The One Forgetting. I can also hear it in other tracks like Is Happiness a Mediocre Sin. I really hear that vocal comparison at parts as well as the track Scar Issue, especially when it kind of slows things down after that two minute mark or so. And can I also note that that is just a terrible play on the Red Hot Chili Peppers song, Scar Tissue. Speaking of bad plays on words, the opening track, Damn Edged, spelled D-A-M-N-A-G-E-D, starts things off on the record just on a very, very mediocre note at best. The screams here feel pretty stale as a whole, to really say the least, here on this one, while the guitars aren't nearly as effective as they intend to be. Genuinely cannot tolerate the next track, Outer Demons, matching these strained vocals with an obnoxious battering drum pattern. I don't know what they were thinking there on that track, but it just does not work. As far as the rest of the song goes, it's actually one of the more entertaining, I guess, and one of the more enjoyable on the record. The vocals actually sound pretty nice here. Uh, the clean vocals, that is, as far as the screams go, mm, they kind of irk me a little bit just because of the way they're presented sometimes and they just really feel forced. I think though as a whole on this track, they kind of stay away from generic territory, especially when it kind of comes to guitar riffs and that's a big issue that I have with a lot of the record and they actually do a little bit to mix things up here on this one and I, I really appreciate that. The next track, uh, I'm going to ignore the fact that the title of the song feels like it was ripped from the latest Korn record, The Paradigm Shift. It's called Pray For Me, spelled P-R-E-Y, like, you know, like a hunter and it's prey. I have a few issues with this track, including the backing vocals here on this one. They just do not sit well with me. I don't feel like they fit, nor does its lead guitar line. It all just feels very overdone and kind of reworked and tweaked. Kind of like a student copying a Wikipedia entry and like pasting it for his paper and then just editing a few words here and there to kind of beat the plagiarism detector. Developing Negative featuring Craig Owens of Chiodos is probably the best song on this record along with Suicide Stigma. I think those two are at the top of the bunch there. Uh, it really seems to unleash on developing negative the, what the band's potential actually is. I like the fact that the vocals just feel like they are flying off the chain a little bit, but at the same time they're still grounded. 
uh, there's another track where I feel like it just did not work like lifeline left to right I felt like they were trying to kind of channel their inner used there on that one their inner Burt McCracken at least Garrett was and it really didn't work for me the album closes out on that title track hold on pain ends that generic closer that you were all just anxiously awaiting five minutes long and boy does it feel it I'll stop right there I'm gonna go ahead and put my rating on this Two out of five for The Color Morale's newest record, Hold On, Pain Ends. There's a few moments worth checking out, but overall I'd say it's nothing that I'm going to be revisiting other than maybe like one or two tracks, and honestly, I kind of doubt that I'll even be back for those. You asked, and you received. Leave requests for future album reviews in the comments section down below. Don't forget to hit the like button on this video. We're coming up on 9,000 subscribers and on my fifth anniversary with this channel, Album Review TV, September 29th. That is insane to me, just about exactly a month away. If we could get to 9,000 subscribers by then, that would be incredible, so make sure to share out the channel with a friend, guys. Thanks for watching this review. You can always click right here to see my most recent one, or you can click over here to go to my second channel. My links are in the description down below, my Twitter, my Facebook. Follow me on those to kind of stay up to date on what's going on, all things music, that sort of stuff. Thanks for watching the review, guys, and I will see you very soon right here on ARTV, Beyond Reviews.